What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and I'm going to answer some questions that I wrote down for myself that I would answer after one year of doing YouTube and having my fursuit. So, let's get started. The first question is how many videos have I uploaded? I've uploaded 61 videos. That's a lot, honestly, and I love looking back from the very first video to up until my recent videos and just seeing that with each and every single video, the leaps and bounds of progress that I made between each video is astounding. I have grown so much as a content creator and even though it's my own videos, it inspires me to keep going because it just, it's so fun to see every single video get better than the last one. How many tracks have I finished? Not enough, honestly. Uh, I have, I did a few projects, but I feel like I just didn't release enough music this year. I did a lot of experimental stuff. I had a lot of fun making music, but I feel like finishing music was something that I really slept on this year and something that I did better years before. Um, but with all the focus on the YouTube channel, I'm not surprised I had a lot less music actually released because I had a ton of music actually made. I spent not every day working on music, but there was always some sort of musical project that I'm working on. And it might not get an official release, but it definitely gets that... that I, I gained something from it, despite the fact it hasn't been released out into the world. So, I haven't released enough, but I've definitely done a ton. What's your subscriber count? My subscriber count is 1,431. And it is, it's just every time I think about that, it blows my mind a little bit more because a lot of YouTubers say that your first 1,000 subscribers is the hardest to get. And if that's true, whoo boy, I've already made it. I've done the hardest part, so whoo boy, have we got a lot of exciting things coming up next. So yeah, uh, I, a year ago, I was expecting, you know, maybe, oh yeah, I got a couple hundred or maybe not even that. But like, holy crap, Having seeing the letter K next to my subscriber count, boy, that, that just feels weird. At work the other day, I was showing like a friend of mine, um, like, oh, hey, I do YouTube. And they're like, oh, well, what's your channel's name? And I told them my channel name. Uh, and they're like, holy crap, that's a, you're actually like someone. And I'm like, that I, I, I just, it, uh, like to me, the number doesn't even feel real. Like it's, it's just surreal. I'm just a dog, man. But like, oh, it just, it's, it's, it's unfathomable, honestly. I don't think I've interacted in person with a thousand people in my entire life. So to know that that many people even clicked on the subscribe button, it just, <laughs> it's a lot, and I'm still not recovered from that. Have I made any money? Yes! Oh my god, you guys absolutely freaking slap. I cannot believe that y'all have actually given me your money. Now, I feel bad because it hasn't always been in the happiest of times that I've asked for money, because this year has been brutal, and... I've kind of had to resort to begging a few times, but the fact that you guys support me in that way, I just, I don't even have the words to describe how much I appreciate it. All I can think to do is just keep making more content because that's just what I've been doing and it keeps working. And it's just, it means a ton that y'all support me in that way. But in a less guilty way, I actually have a patron, and or a Patreon, 
and people support it. And I think that's amazing. The fact that people just support the content, not from any guilt trip perspective, but just like, hey, you're cool. I just, ah, it's so crazy. Coolest thing that's happened this year. Um, it's a toss up because I think COVID kind of screwed up a lot of things. So one of the things that just, I felt alive again when I went to the drive-in rave. I think that absolutely was one of the my most favorite things I got to do this year was finally get to see live music. So the drive-in rave, absolutely amazing. It was my first public fursuiting event. And I think that it just, it just went so well. And it was so fun because it had the, you know, I got to bring my car and it was a social distancing thing. It was amazing. However, on the other side, I'm a, a dream came true. I got a sponsorship from a company. Pocket, uh, Teenage Engineering sponsored a pocket operator for a giveaway. That's just, that's just unbelievable. They gave me things. Like, I'm just a dog, and they're just like, hey, you're a dog that makes music. We'll give you some, 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 we'll, we'll throw you a bone. And it was amazing, and it was just incredible. Best advice you'd give me right now. The best advice I'd give myself a year ago? <sighs> Keep your head up. People suck. And... If you spend all your time thinking about how much people suck, you're gonna make yourself go crazy. Focus on what you can do to make yourself better. Because sometimes you just can't fix other people. And when they don't want to be fixed, there's no way you're gonna change their mind. So just keep, because the only person you can fix, the only person that you can make grow is yourself. So keep on working on yourself. And if people want help and they're receptive to it, help them. But if they can't, if they won't, if they refuse to, that very quickly stops being your problem. And you just gotta let it go and you gotta get back to doing what you love. Cause that's been something I've been struggling with. Uh, what's my favorite video? My favorite video, honestly, the favorite, like, I, so I got to make the dream, a dream video of mine, which was the trip to San Francisco. Not specifically San Francisco, I've been places before, but the video itself was one of my favorite things I made because I got to use, uh, that, that, it kind of com was combined with the pocket operator, uh, sponsorship because I was able to make music while traveling and then used the music that I made while traveling as background music for the traveling. So it just, it made such a cohesive video. All of the energy from the, the travels kind of combined into the energy from the videos. And it was just, it was such a magical video. And it's something I want to do a lot more of because it's just, it's a, it's a really neat, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just super awesome. And with cons and festivals and all sorts of other events coming up, I really hope to do more videos like it because it was one of my favorite videos, not only to make, but even just sitting down rewatching it is a phenomenal video letting me relive those memories again. And it's just, that's just what I wanted it to do. So yeah. San Francisco video is my top favorite right now. And yeah, that's the end of the list. Um, I have had, oh my God, I have had a crazy year. And I appreciate each and every single one of you who have come along with me on that journey. And I cannot wait to take you to the new places I've got planned because I am, I am just so excited for everything. Like I'm up at, what time is it? It is three in the morning and I am here making a video because it's just, I was, I was scrolling through my, my, my video ideas and I forgot I wrote this down and it just, 
it's just fun. Like, I'm excited to make videos. I'm excited to do these things. I'm excited I get to do these things. And it's just so magical. So thank you all for supporting me. Thank you all for watching my content. I appreciate all of your comments. I might not be able to reply to everyone, but I read every single one of them and it just it just makes my day and I appreciate it so much. So thank you all. Um, I hope this has been a neat insight into my own mind for a bit. But yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video. Um, still going to do another upload on Monday. I figured I'd just do like a weird midweek thing because why not? But yeah, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.